Time is it, Greg? 1.30. He's a half an hour late already. That must be him. Andre? Mr. Dean? Yes. We're all waiting inside. Fine. Somehow that word doesn't seem to relate to Mr. Dean. Though this community owes its very existence to him, they'll never build a monument to him. Mr. Drake, the eulogy's been given. Yes, of course, you're, you're quite right, Mr. Dean. I'm here as you are, not out of love for the man, but to reveal the successors to the throne. This was recorded in our office with witnesses six months ago. Good day, my beloved family, lifelong friends. Greetings from beyond the grave. I know, though I can't see you, but from my past experience with each one of you, my timely death has given all of you a chance to heave a sigh of relief and to discover an itch in your palms. Yes, the waiting is over. Well, perhaps not quite, but we'll get to that later. For now, the business at hand. To Igor, Elga, and Frank, my servants who through their sheer stupidity remained with me all these many years, I'm leaving in trust the amount of one million dollars each to be drawn as wages at the rate of five hundred dollars per month for as long as they stay and maintain the house and property. To you, my devoted children, Gregory, Veronica, Johnny, and dear Leslie, dreadful scions wrought from my loins during four of my insane moments in my life, I leave the balance of my estate to this date valued at $136 million. This sum shall be divided equally among the four of you. Now, my next statement. This might separate the rabbits from the alley cats. Should one of you die, that share should be divided equally among the survivors. Should all of you die, the servants of this household shall share as equal. And here, much to my delight, is the stinger. In order to give this grand house and community one last look at my family's immorality and insanity, it is decreed that each of you must live on the premises for one full week, starting right now, in order to qualify for your well-earned inheritance. I shall pause for your reaction. Knowing you as I do, I am sure you are responding in the true family tradition. But, my dear children, had you intelligence and perhaps a tinge of virtue, you'd tell me to take the money to hell with me, and you'd go home to whatever kind of worthless lives you now live. We ask you to accept the remains of this man, Mr. Dean. We ask you to receive this man into thy bosom. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Welcome to your reunion. I will be done. And from me, I give you a last farewell. <laughs> Package for the devil. Goodbye, you ornery bastard. <laughs> Tom, my wife Laura and I are going to fight this. Mr. Dean, save your breath. It's ironclad. You sure? You know our firm too well to ask. 
Of course. Mrs. Dean, Greg, good luck. What does he mean, good luck? Was it supposed to mean something? I don't know. It's just the way he said it. supper for my wife yes sir a simple menu she'll dine in our room yes sir for a week's stay. I didn't bring enough clothes. I'll let you wear bubbles. Sweet, alcoholic, intoxicating bubbles. Yeah, drink. The nectar of the gods. Which thing? Well, there's the god of high finance. The god of lush living. The god of love. It's gold. Play a game of checkers. You're back. Huh? He's cruel to say that to you. No. We must first know what cruel is. You want a cookie with your milk? No, thank you. Yes, darling. Come to Leslie. I need you. But my, my daddy didn't hate me, did he? Of course not. Johnny, <laughs> we must be careful not to say anything to him until the time is right. That's correct. Do you think Johnny still hates me? No, we don't know that as yet. But we will. <laughs> we will, won't we? Of course we will. And now I want you to get some rest. <laughs> yes, Doctor. You do love me, don't you, Carl? You know I do. <laughs> Carl, I know everything will just like you say. Such a kind man. Oh, I love you so much for that. Tell me. Tell me that you love me. I do. Well, say it. Well, say it. And then I'll be able to go to sleep. I love you. Hello, baby brother. Hello. Feel competitive? Sure. Great. Stripes. How long since you saw the old man? A couple of years, maybe. Busy brother, huh? Still hustling the resort? Makes the rent. I bet it does. I had no idea you enjoyed older women. Oh, come on, baby brother. Don't look so innocent. I heard you've been making out pretty well for yourself in New York. That's more like it. You and I, we've always been right to the point. And Johnny, we're gonna be so rich. 
I'm gonna love spending all his money. You really hated him, didn't you? In spades. Just like he hated me. Funny. You can still feel the hate in this house. Like it's coming from the walls. <laughs> like maybe it's coming from the grave, huh? It's a weird thought. Yeah, we're a pretty weird family. By the way, how are things between you and sweet little Leslie? What the hell is that supposed to be? Oh, <laughs> you're uptight. Have you had a chance to see you? How did you hurt? I'm a big no-no with the sweet. Never mind. You'll get your chance. For what? For conversation, dear boy. Conversation. Really, Johnny, you're very touchy. Hope I'm not intruding. No, Doctor. As a matter of fact, we were just uh, talking about you, Johnny and I. You and Leslie. know the Dean family from A to Z. Perhaps. Think we're all a little crazy? No comment. Evasiveness. That's my biggest hang-up with psychiatrists. Especially since I read a book called The Body Language. Tell me something, Doctor. Do you have any degree of success with that language? I've read the book. I love the body. I prefer the mind. Really? Why? It's more challenging. I see. What's your diagnosis? Yours? Yeah, try me. The hen cackles. The rooster sprains his back. I, uh... No, a very good chiropractor. Chin? Chin? What is it, Laura? Is Chin in there with you? No, he's not in here. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, take it easy, honey. There's no heavy traffic in the hall. Greg, go out and look for him. Oh, honey, he can't get out of the house. Oh, Greg, he hasn't done this before. So it's a first. <laughs> Sweetheart. <laughs> Every dog has his day. Chin, where are you? Chin?
Well, how about it, Sheriff? I just got here, Mr. Dean. And it sure took you long enough. Look, don't push me. I have 47 square miles of county territory to cover and only two deputies to help me. It's very chilly here. Why don't you take your wife in the house? Okay, Dad. Come inside here. What was that scream? What was that scream, huh? Put that gun away, will you? Now, how about the scream? My wife suffers from bad dreams. She was walking in her sleep. Like out there, maybe? Now, don't be stupid. Now, you wait a minute. Now, you wait a minute. Don't come around here making accusations or second guesses unless you know what you're talking about. Now, do your job. Cool it, gentlemen. Cool it. Come along, Sheriff. Come on, it's all right, Dan. Come on. Jim was such a little thing. Why would anyone want to hurt him? Can I do anything? Yeah, yeah I'll have some brandy. of burying the poor animal. Little dogs have that right, you know. You're your kooky family. Hippie saying weirdo, you are even six feet under. You're a freak, do you know that? <sighs> Frank, what the hell are you doing here? Can I help you, Dan? Boy, you spooked me. I'm sorry. You had troubles? Yeah. As always with these county mishaps. I'll take a look. Cars are like women, Dan. You have to treat them with care if you expect them to function properly. Ah, <laughs> oh, Frank, you and your cars. Hey, what's it like seeing Miss Veronica again, huh? Oh, she looks nice. Yeah. Now's the time to double clutch and shift the low gear. What do you mean? Oh, you know, Frank. She's always had eyes for you. Maybe she still does. Just think of all the beautiful cars you could have with her. She's rich. What's the matter? I say something wrong? Oh, sorry. Sorry, Frank. 
Yes, sir. We are raiding the icebox. Didn't you want supper in your room? No, change your plans. Don't bother, dear. We'll manage. Yes, sir. There is a ham in the refrigerator. Oh, fine. Fine. Yes, I'll bet Johnny killed Chin. John? Oh, no, not Johnny. Why not? Isn't that what a spiteful person would do? Well, I thought Chin was your dog, not mine. Why would he want to spite you? I am your wife. Yeah, but there may be a kooky family, but you can't hate me that much. Do you remember the turndown you gave him at the club last year? Yeah. Oh, no, not Johnny. Here. Come on, just a Slide down, Dan. Is she all right? Oh, yes. Poor kid. <laughs> I'm sure you mean that. Well, she's my sister. Yeah. Everything's relative, huh? And you are my brother-in-law. Veronica. What? Going down to help Frank tinker with his automobile? Such hunger, you've been neglected. Oh, doctor, how's Leslie? Just fine. Well, shouldn't you be bedside or something? No, she's asleep. Should she even be here? Tell me, why shouldn't she? No reason. By the way, you do have a license to practice. You do have a good sense of humor. <laughs> I have to have. You married my sister. Touche, Consman. We had a game to finish. Yes. I did leave it hanging, didn't I? Tell me, Doctor. 
not that I care. I'm just curious. Why won't you let Leslie talk to Johnny? Just not medically sound at this time. What's your non-professional reason? I didn't know there was one. Oh, come on, Doc. Don't tell me the male ego doesn't have a tinge of anger or resentment. Hardly. Why not? Everyone knows it was Leslie who teased Johnny into that mistaken night of amour. Johnny, 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 come on, Johnny. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Please, Johnny. Please, Johnny. Come on. Come on. Come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Come on. I want to talk to you, Johnny. Talk Johnny. to you, John. Johnny. 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 Leslie. Leslie. Come here this moment. No, Father. As I say, child. Leave her alone, Father. Father. Get out of this room. This instant. This no. instant. No, Johnny, don't go. No, Johnny, don't go. No. No, don't go. No. Don't go. Don't go. No. Don't go. Don't go. And that's why Johnny can't be alone with Leslie. In her subconscious, she still fears me. Fears what? Retribution. Oh, from Johnny. He's afraid of his own shadow. Who would have thought sweet little Leslie would do such a thing just to get father's attention? People do funny things for attention. In Leslie's case, it just got out of hand, and it went too far. So instead of loving her, Dear old dad turned on the hate machine. Interesting. What's that? You. Somehow the father image just doesn't fit. We manage. Oh, I'm sure you manage. Long luncheons, house calls, all a very good therapy for a lonely woman. <laughs> Come on, let's get something to eat. I'm hungry. I think there's a ham in the refrigerator. some kind of horror film. Greg. No, easy, baby, easy. First, let's try and find out when that phone was last working. Anyone use it? I did when I called the sheriff. Well, anyone since then. So what? What's that supposed to mean? Shut up a minute, will you? Get off my back, big brother. Aye, aye. Now, we should draw lots. Somebody's got to drive into town. Well, send a chauffeur. It's still on salary. Knock it off, will you? Eager, some cards. Hurry. I happen to have a deck on me. Good. Oh, God knows, the maniac might still be out there somewhere. All the more reason to get help. All right. Ace High makes the trip. Hold it, hold it. Where's Driver Boy? Driver Boy's right here. Oh, we're, we're drawing uh, cards to see who drives for help. Well, you can forget that. Someone just removed all the distributors from the cars. Oh, really? That, uh... Who oh, wouldn't have been you by any chance, huh? If I didn't know you better, I'd take serious offense to that remark. Now knock it off, both of you, will you? Let's think. Let's try and come up with some kind of an idea. Well, I suggest we check the windows and the doors, make sure they're locked. Good idea. Yeah, Igor, would you and Frank take care of that? Greg, I'm not feeling too well. Oh, well, I can't, dear. Uh, Greg, take her upstairs, put sure. her to bed. Come I'll be up shortly. Running. 
Oh, Mrs. Bjorn, would you come with me, please? Oh. Horrible way to have to go. Somebody sure had to hate that poor old guy. I wonder who it was. You don't suppose it could be one of us, do you? Come on, Johnny, cut it out, will you? Everything all right? Yes. Going to bed? All by myself. Just trying to be fair. I thought maybe a game would fool myself. No, thank you. When she's asleep, uh, you can leave. Yes, doctor. Thank you. Downstairs and check on Igor and Frank, and uh, maybe a nightcap. Fine. I'll be back soon. Frank, uh, how long have you and the others been with the family? I'm going on 15 years. I don't know about Igor and Elga. It's for my time. Since the year one. What'd you do before? Army, tanks. You still got that lamp, Frank? Yes. The lamp? Must be a story there. A crowd stuck a bayonet in me. I made him into a lamp. Thank you. Frank's got quite a collection. A one-man show. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, what are you doing up? You didn't really expect me to sleep, did you? Besides, I heard some strange noises. Well, now, we're all a little uptight. Uh, that's a slow-acting pill. Why don't you watch television or something? Good idea. Come on, darling. It'll relax you. Let's go downstairs.
you want? Thought you might like a nightgown. No, thanks. Doctor's orders. Prescription denied. What does a house have to fall on you? whether I do it right or wrong. What's the use? You're insolent. Why don't you go to hell? You go on, give me the cane. Father, you can't do that. Leave her over on the The cane, you go Bruises are almost gone. Must be, what, five days, a week? Do you still feel pain? No. That's good. Igor, I wish you would get rid of that thing. Never. I don't understand you. Seems as if you wish to remember the pains in your life. Why can't you forget the past? Elga? Yes? From time to time, you will use the cane on me. No, let someone else do it. Not me. You shall. And you will. Understand? Trust him. Oh, you're too much. Greg, let's go to bed. Sure. We could both use some sleep. I 
remember. Greg. Yeah? I got a funny feeling about Johnny. I, I'm sorry, but I do. Oh, don't worry about him. I'm spooky about it. I can't help it. I just keep thinking you did turn him down. Oh, honey, stay loose. You may have married into a screwball family, but this guy's got all his marbles. Okay? Okay. What do you think? About what? About the shot. Well, I can think of about 50 guys who like him dead. But uh, what a way to go. Yeah, a real pain in the neck, huh? I suppose, I suppose you'd like him as a, as a trophy. Now, what's the matter? Don't you want to enjoy the game? It has to be somebody in this house. Look, it could also be some outsider with a grudge against the whole family. Oh, let's forget it. His deputies will probably start wondering about him and they'll show up. I hope so. Relax. Pretty good. It's a mighty touch. I'm hungry. How about a ham sandwich? <laughs> no guts, huh? <laughs> Come on. you wish you had that pill now that Carl gave you. Oh, Greg, just hold me close. Look close and tight. Sure, baby.
Put her to bed. Get me a glass of water. What a stench. Somebody in this house knows what they're doing? That's for damn sure. And yeah, somebody knows where everything is, too. She'll sleep now. If she awakens, you call me right away. And lock the door. Yes, sir. Thank you. Poor baby. Is there anything I can do for you? I don't think so, doctor. Igor and I have placed the bodies in the garage. Hang around here and wait for the next one to go. What are we going to do? Good question. Anybody got any idea? I mean, uh, other than suspecting each other. Because that's what it boils down to, doesn't it? Well, Frank, all that wiring came from your garage, didn't it? I don't like that insinuation. A statement, my friend. I don't like your statement either, Buster, and I'm not your friend. <laughs> well, at best, the best of them. Well, you're right. And there are two of us alone right now up in your room. I resent that. Elga has been faithful to your father and this house since the day she came here. Well, that's what you say, creep. And just how safe is Elga up there with your sister? I don't know. Why don't we ask the shrink? Oh, that's enough, Johnny. We can't trust each other. We've got to protect ourselves somehow. Well, if one of us has got to volunteer to go to town for help. Barbara. The volunteer identifies himself as a killer because he won't be afraid to make that long walk into town. With an idea like that, you're just about as freaky as Leslie. <laughs> you lousy son of a bitch. If she's freaky, she's got you to thank for it. You and your head say it! Plus! Family secrets in this house. I heard her! Before you! Stop! <laughs> Frank, you're the only one in this house with any common sense. Come up with something. Every one for themselves, as far as I can see. I don't trust you, and you don't trust me. Impacts. Sorry. I have nothing to say. Nobody gives a damn. Nobody cares. Veronica, how well did you know the help? Are you asking me if there's one that could be trusted? If there's any trust in this house, it eludes me. I think we're loners in this patchwork of insanity. <laughs> Tell me, he see why I don't like you. Now you're gonna ask me if I did it. Right? Right? Did you? Just thought under the 
conditions that uh, might try to be friends. Ah! Not even for Leslie's sake? Oh, bad bitch, Doc. Real bad. That was when you stopped me from seeing my sister. You really turned me off. Johnny. No use. I've told you. He's too irresponsible. Too irresponsible. Too irresponsible. You don't seem to care about your family. You're too busy with your flirtations. You have family responsibility. Why? I didn't bring this family into the world. You did. You did. You did. You did. Leslie! Johnny. Leslie! Johnny. Leslie! Johnny. Leslie! Johnny. 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 Johnny, are you all right? How is she? Sound asleep. Did she say anything? No. You should forget. It was many years ago. Why is this house so full of hate? Oh, no, please. Please. Oh, please. Help me. I have to trust you. Tell me. Why is this house so full of hate? At one time, this was the house of love. And your father was the proud master of it. And your mother, God rest her soul, was a beautiful woman. And you were beautiful babies. All of you, and I loved you as if you were my own. But the hate grew, didn't it? It became an invisible animal lurking in the shadows. And it seemed the harder I tried to help the more hate was returned from your father, from you. Oh, yes, Charlie, from you. 
and from Greg and Veronica and Leslie. Even a few times, your father and I talked about the family. He just laughed at me and my suggestions. I suppose you picked up on the whole number. Some. I didn't want to interrupt. How, uh, how come you're not locked up tight in your room? Well, you're pretty wide open yourself, you know. We want to hide together. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. Come on. I know you didn't mean it that way. Come on. You really are something, you know that. I know that you and I are going to be very, very rich. <laughs> Where is your head? Don't you even care what's going on around here? Three people dead. Everybody suspect. A locked up house with a killer loose inside. But it's like I said, baby brother, if we can last until morning, we're gonna be very rich. Very rich. Hey. Johnny, it takes years to develop. Anyway, you should know about that. With you, it's tennis and afternoon cocktails. A smooth smile and a good serve. The way down deep in the bottom of your tummy. You know the pitfalls, huh? Well, all I know is I'm really frightened. <laughs> sure. But look at the company we're keeping. He's not dead, Johnny. He's just buried. All we have to do, we three, is look in each other's eyes, and we realize the hate that runs in our veins. He's not dead. He's alive and well. Inside you, inside me, and inside Leslie. Man, Frank. How's that? All the 
these years, you keep the same horrible memories on your walls. And that lamp. Especially the lamp. He saw that brother well, hasn't he? Wouldn't surprise me if you put the sheriff's head on the wall. I'm sorry. I know that was out of line. Well, this certainly isn't a social visit. What's on your mind? You. Level with me. Like what? Like the missing car parts. Think if we looked real hard, we could come up with same? I doubt it. I'll make it worth your while. I bet you would. I'm serious. And I'm sure you are. But it's like I said, all the parts are missing. Don't spite me. What I did to you years ago was a kid having fun. I've grown up. I'm aware of that. I'll make myself available. Just get us out of here. That's a very nice offer. I wish I had the missing parts. Don't lie to me. Did I ever? Like I said, impasse. Yes. Are you sure you want me to leave? Well, I was for damn sure you won't find those missing parts in my room. Yeah, this is open. You go out and close it. Just like you did years ago. Near when I meet you. I'm 
my very life is in your hands. <laughs> Isn't it? Yes. And who shares that life? We. We share that life. And now? I know. I know. Go to sleep. Carl said no. In the morning we can talk. It can't wait until morning. I've got to make you understand something. Now. In the morning. In the morning. Look at you. Oh, I'm good. I don't want to hurt you. anything when you're here now. No. No, you go away. You. You turn daddy against me. Daddy. Daddy. Is dead? No. Yes. No. And all that's left. And me, and that's all that matters. I love you. He said it was something ugly. Oh, please. Oh, please. Help me to help you. We can't stay here anymore. Let them have the money and the and the and the and the hate and the and the and the and the pain. I know. I know. We have a chance that will never come to us again for the rest of our lives. We've got to take that chance. You've got to believe me.
him here with this sheriff's gun. You can't believe I'd kill my own wife. Why not? I heard her scream from the house. I followed her out here. That's all. And you found what I found. That's enough for me, Buster. This and Johnny. Johnny? What about Johnny? And in the fish tank. Dead. Not Johnny. Bronca, get out of here. Now go on. You too, Doc. Move. Look, Bust, we found you there with this. That's enough for me. Frank. Yes? Are we sure? I am. All right. It'll be light soon. You and Igor can go for help. You're a trusting soul. Trust, Doctor. I've seen your performance. I think I understand a few more things. Shall we? Veronica. Yes? A favor? Lock the door. Okay. I realize it's been many years since I've been home. A lot of things have changed for me. Probably for you, too. Everybody knows about my family. There are no secrets between us. And no love lost. What are you getting at? I'm not sure Carl is responsible for what's happened. You're kidding. I said I'm not sure. There was no one else around. There were four of us, all alone at one time or another. Madame suspects us. 
Of course I suspect you. Even Helga? Yes, even Helga. She's not immune to the hate that lived in this house. It's everywhere. Now, take it easy. You're getting upset. Upset? Oh, for God's sake. Why, in heaven's name, shouldn't I be? You just try and settle down. Thank you. Keep away from me. You're just getting yourself worked up. I said keep away from me. Let me speak to her alone. I said alone. Now, nice and easy. No. Veronica! We're going to be all right. You make me harm. I wonder what would have happened if we had got together. Nothing. I suppose. What about now? You're feeling security in the house of death. Because I kissed you. Because you want to live. That kiss? I took advantage of the situation. Besides, I wanted to kiss you ever since I first met you. That's all. I suppose things might have been different years ago, but I doubt it. You know, in a way, I'm sorry. <laughs> sure. Now you buy yourself a steamship and sail the world around, trying to forget. What's that? B. Don't move it. That hurts you if you just stand still. I've stunned once. It's terrible. My God, Frank. Thanks. Sure. No. No. Look, I'm sorry for the way I've treated you in the past and the present. I want you to know I'm sorry. Oh, my God, not another one. Buried. I don't understand. A coffin was buried. 
in a coffin, you fools. But you've killed your whole family. I have no family. Yes, the four of you. Just miserable creatures who infested my every waking day. You're not mine, none of you. What do you say? She lied to me. Yes, your mother. That's why she died. But she didn't just die. I killed her. She lied to me. She made me believe I was capable of being a father. But she deceived me. You're not mine. The devil knows who fathered you because I don't. It can't be. Her vanity was beyond belief, but she couldn't fool me, oh no. Somehow I knew all my work was in vain. I couldn't see my reflection in any of you. Yes? I think a glass of milk will do very nicely. Yes, Igor. Yes, Mr. Garrett. The cookie. Yes, Igor. The cookie.
And I bet you thought it was the butler all the time. Mm -hmm.